members of the public. From my home, Madam Speaker, up to Ahero, I go through 200 roadblocks erected by ODM goons. And you want the police to sit by and watch as my right is infringed. Madam Speaker, we will not allow. And Madam Speaker, I want to say that the police con conducted themselves with utmost restraint. And Madam Speaker, I would want to urge the police of Kenya to take charge, dismantle these criminal networks. And Madam Speaker, the nation has a thread of these activities. There is a leader in this country, Madam Speaker, during a campaign election, he comes up with an MPS number, people don't know where money is going. In these networks, they have been extorting people. My Senator from Bomet came from Kapsabet to, uh, to uh, Sitotwet. Madam Speaker, she, he parted with 70,000 from illegal taxes by a group saying they are changering for Baba, probably to put up a hotel in Malindi, Madam yes. Speaker. Yes. So, Madam Speaker, yes. as much as we speak, and that is shame, Madam Speaker, as much as we condemn police, we must condemn hooligans who have taken law onto their order? hands, Madam Speaker. Hold on, hold on, Honorable Hillary. On a point net, of, what is out of order? But, 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 Madam Chair, I'm on a point of order. M Madam Chair, you know, Honorable uh, Kipkelion from Kipkelion is not a new member. Like the way I will uh, keep quiet when new members are learning the ropes. Madam Chair, this is a man who's serving second term. Well, Madam Speaker, what is out of order? When he's, this is a House of Records, Madam Speaker. When he's raising such kind of allegations that taxes are being collected of seventy thousand, yes. in the standing order, there is the, uh, there is the, uh, the standing order of relevance, Madam Speaker. What relevance that has got to do with police brutality, Madam Speaker? Unless he is the goon who's instructing them what to do, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, if you don't. If you don't guide this debate in relevance, to, to relevance, Madam Speaker, then people are going to speak here about their land, their farms, their potatoes, and everything, Madam Speaker. Let us discuss issues pertaining to police brutality. That's all. Thank you. Honorable members, honorable members, the motion is very clear that what Honorable Rosa Bui brought to this house is across the country. So you also cannot gag honorable members. That is why Dr. Ombaka will speak about Siaya. Someone else will speak about Mombasa because it is part of the context. So unless someone is totally out of order, let us give members chances to finish so that everyone can have the chance to talk. Honorable Hillary. Uh, Hillary, do you want to be informed by the yes, leader of by majority? Yes, my leader, Madam Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I just wanted to inform Honorable Hillary that it was quite in order. Because, indeed, the Honorable Leader uh, of Minority, the uh, uh, whip of the minority, has indeed confirmed what Hillary was saying. Yes. He is not denying the fact that there are people collecting illegal taxes. Yes. He had only a problem with relevance. And therefore, Honorable Hillary, let me inform you that you are perfectly in order. There are cartels yes. in this country yes. using order, violence order, and order, anarchy to collect illegal taxes. Order, and they must be dealt with. Order. Leader of majority, we have already guided. Please, Honorable Hillary, continue. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I want to just inform my friend, Honorable Junette, that I was using this point exactly to justify why it was necessary for police to come and deal with these criminal gangs. And, Madam Speaker, in conclusion, I want to urge the police, the Inspector General of Police, not to blink and to deal and quell with all criminal networks, not necessarily in the Luonyanza, but in the entire republic, and bring order. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Yes. The member has already wound up. Your time is up. Leader of minority. Uh, Madam Speaker.